Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video or should I say a banger of a video because the last time that I did a desk tour or a desk setup video, you guys went nuts, okay? I, that video did really, really well for a channel that's small like mine. And I think I posted that video about a year ago and so within the time span of a year, a lot has changed the location, my setup, and so that's what we're gonna be talking about today, my desk setup. If you see something here that you like, uh, a piece of tech or whatever the case is, everything will be linked down in the description. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So let's, let's address the elephant in the room, okay? This massive behemoth of a monitor. Now this is a 49 inch Samsung Odyssey. This is a phenomenal monitor, guys. This is completely unbiased. I am not sponsored by Samsung yet, um, but this is an absolute amazing monitor. Now, the, the monitor size that I'm typically used to is a 32 or a 34 inch. Ever since I got to a 49 inch, you can never go back. Going from this to say a laptop screen or an even smaller monitor is just unacceptable. You're able to have like three or four windows open at the same time. The multitasking capabilities are just amazing. And just imagine when you're editing video and you've got your timeline just spread out so long, you're able to just go down the timeline so easily. Even if you're not an editor, a 49 inch monitor is awesome. If you need to have multiple windows simultaneously open up in order to, for you to get your job done. Like I said, it is extremely large, so I do find myself sometimes going back and forth trying to see the, the opposite ends of the monitor, but this monitor has been a crucial part in my productivity in my desk, and I don't see myself giving it up anytime soon. On top of the monitor, we have this cheap 1080p webcam. Honestly, I just needed a webcam ASAP, and so I found something on Amazon. This one's pretty great, 1080p, high definition, that's all you need. 4K is a little bit overkill in my opinion, just because a lot of people's internet connection just can't handle that type of resolution, so you end up breaking up anyways. It's also got a microphone in it. I'm not sure what the brand is, but I'll have that somewhere linked down in the description. So depending on the time of day, I've either got my work laptop or my personal laptop hooked up to the monitor. And I've got this awesome stand that I got from Amazon by a brand called Jarlink. This is an aluminum stand, very heavy, it, it doesn't move. It's got rubber on the bottom and also rubber on the inside slots to make sure that it doesn't scratch up your laptop. It's also got two slots and I did that intentionally so I can have my two laptops standing vertically. Before this, I just had my laptop resting on my desk, but I realized having something like this where you can have your laptop standing vertically saves you a ton of real estate on your desk. Helping me connect my computers to my monitor, I've got a dock over here. It's got a bunch of USB slots. It's got an SD card, micro SD card, headphone jack, ethernet, you name it. It's a multi-use dock. It's got a bunch of features on it and it allows me to quickly switch between laptops. If you could tell, there's, there's a bit of a theme going on here. You could tell that I really like the space gray metallic look. Uh, and, and I'm really glad I'm just realizing this for the first time that all my products are basically space gray. There used to be a sticker on that dock. I actually tried removing it before this video just so everything looks clean. And obviously, sticker didn't come off in one piece and left that white spot. So that's gonna annoy me for a bit until I have the energy to remove that. Moving on, you're probably like, why does this guy have two sets of keyboards and trackpads or a mouse? And that's pretty simple. This Logitech keyboard over here, pretty cheap. This Logitech K345, pretty cheap keyboard. I think this came in a set, this keyboard and the mouse for like 20, 25 bucks. This, as you can assume, is for my work laptop. I don't need much out of a keyboard and a mouse for my work laptop. Uh, just basic functions and, and just something that I can use and hook up to my laptop and, and be able to use the monitor. But obviously for my personal laptop, the M1 MacBook Pro, we've got the Apple Magic keyboard and trackpad. Now I intentionally got these instead of Logitech just because I'm a big Apple fan. I like to be in their ecosystem. I like to use products that are well integrated within the ecosystem. So these always work very, very well. No connection issues, anything like that. Obviously the trackpad because I enjoy the gestures, the hand gestures and being able to scroll down and up a timeline. I'm just used to using the trackpad on the laptop. So going from the laptop to this, uh, there's no difference and so there's no learning curve. Now let's get into the actual computers. I'm not gonna talk much about this one. This one is my work laptop. This is a Dell Precision. My company did not cheap out on a laptop. 
which makes sense. I deal with some really large Excel files and spreadsheets that just require a ton of computing power. So this thing is a beast. Small joke, can you tell I'm an Apple fan? This is a Dell. I heard this was disrespectful to Windows owners, so I'm just gonna keep it there. Over here, I've got my M1 Max MacBook Pro. Every video that I've talked about this computer, I just fangirl over it. This thing has been an absolute treat. It's a beast, it's extremely powerful, it renders video in no time. Apple definitely stepped it up with their computers, they definitely stepped it up with their new silicon. I'm just excited to see how even more powerful a computer can get past this in the future years to come. And when I'm editing, I like to get in the zone and to get in the zone, I've got these Bose NC700 HP headphones. These are lightweight, amazing quality sound. They've got pretty great active noise canceling and they're just extremely comfortable. They're just, I, I typically get headaches from the pressure of a headphone on, on your head, but these don't do that to me. And so I really like these and these are mostly dedicated for traveling when I'm on a flight or uh, when I'm video editing. Holding my, my Bose uh, headphones uh, is a 3D printed headphone stand that I actually 3D printed with my own 3D printer. This is kind of cool, uh, lightweight, and uh, and yeah, it was, it was basically free for whatever the price of the filament was. Holding all of my tech together, we've got the IKEA hack. If you don't know, the IKEA hack is basically a kitchen countertop and you either add the Adil's legs, which I have, or the Alex drawers, which every other YouTuber has. I went for this option just because I knew in the future I would probably want to switch my setup. I'm the type of guy that gets uh, bored pretty quick and I just need to change. I'm actually thinking about changing the configuration and, and the way my desk is set up. So that's definitely coming in the near future. But yeah, this is my desk setup. If you did see something in the video that you want to check out, check out the description. I'll have everything linked down below. If you are new, I saw my analytics and 50% of my viewers are not subscribed. So I'd really appreciate it if you smack that red button down below that says subscribe. Come along for the ride, have some fun with us, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time.